Hello students, uh, today we are uh, uh, studying this fluid mechanics uh, uh, third, in third video, third or fourth video lecture. This is Aman Jain, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, uh, Singhania, Sapalampat Singhania University. So today's, uh, our today's lecture is on uh, horizontal plane surfaces submerged in liquid. Basically we are focusing on the so, uh, plane surfaces submerged in liquid. So, we have, we have to discuss a uh, few topics and uh, apart from other topics we are you know, focusing on those other plane surfaces submerged in liquid. So the total pressure which is defined as the force exerted by a steady fluid on surface either plane or curved when the fluid comes in contact with the surfaces this force always acts normal to the surface. So we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, the total pressure force is the, uh, acting always on the normal direction uh, or to the surface. Then what is the center of pressure? Center of pressure is defined as the point of application of the total pressure on the surface. There are four cases in submerged sur surfaces on which the total pressure uh, force and center of pressure is to be defined. So vertical plane surfaces, horizontal plane surfaces, inclined plane surfaces, and curved surfaces. So these are the four cases in which uh, we will discussing. We will be discussing total uh, calculate, calculation of total pressure and center of pressure uh, on these four surfaces. Let's discuss the first one: vertical plane, uh, horizontal plane surfaces submerged in water. So you may see that this is a horizontal, uh, horizontal plane surface in which. P and center pressure and G is on the same point and uh, let A is the total area of the surface then total force F on the surface is P into area and uh, area uh, P, is, uh, P is equal to rho GH uh, I mean hydrostatic principle of hydrostatic we can see that P is equal to rho GH A and then uh, where rho GH and uh, H bar and H star is depth of CG from the free surface of the liquid which is also H and H star is depth of center of pressure from the free surface this is the free surface of the water and this is also H so for this case, this very case uh, your uh, total force total force is equal to rho G H a rho g h bar into a so this is the total force in this case so i don't think that there is any problem let's solve a numerical based on this uh, uh, equation over here so figure shows a tank full of water uh, you will find three things over here uh, first is the total pressure at the bottom of the tank that is uh, uh, at this place and the second is the weight of the water tank what is the total weight of the water tank and uh, uh, third one is the hydrostatic paradox between the results of first and second so the difference between first and second we have to find the width of tank is 2 meter this is the solution uh, that uh, uh, you have to solve you have to first calculate uh, H1 uh, so H1 is uh, this one 3 meter plus uh, 0.6 so it will be uh, around 3.6 so h1 it will be 3.6 meter and the width of tank is 2 meter width is uh, 2 meter then length is 4 meter as given so the area will be 4 into 2 8 square meters and the total pressure at the bottom according to the this formula it will be F equals to rho G H bar A and it will be equal to 1000 into 9.81 into 8 into 3.6 and it will be the answer will be 28 28 Newton so this will be the solution of the first part then we have to calculate the weight of the water 
at the bottom. Uh, so we have to calculate the volume of the tank and then we have to multiply it by rho into g, that is the weight density. So 1000 into 9.81 into volume of the tank will be 3 into 0.4 into 2 that is this part and volume of this part will be equal to doing, um, 4 uh, into uh, 0.6 and further. So it will be equal to 7, uh, 70,632. So So you know, we can say that this is the answer first and second answer will be like uh, uh, volume of the tank into rho into g will be 7632 Newton. So we are having two answers uh, over here, first and second. So hydrostatic paradox. The third thing we need is the hydrostatic paradox and from the results of first and second, uh, it is observed that uh, total weight of water in the tank is much less than the total pressure at the bottom of the tank uh, and this fundamental uh, this fundamental is known as uh, hydrostatic paradox so like this we can solve as many as examples we can and this was the typical example of high horizontal plane surfaces submerged in water so there is an, another example we can solve but before that we have to take the next case inclined plane surfaces submerged in the water uh, so this is the inclined surface this is the surface inclined this is the inclined surface over here and uh, we are taking the strip over here and uh, when we calculate the this is h star this is h bar this is y bar this is o o axis over here and the distance from h bar center of gravity to the o axis is y bar and uh, from center of pressure to o axis is y star and uh, the point of action of force the height from there is uh, from the free liquid surface is h, h star and h bar is the height through g so this is how we are doing it we are taking a strip of length d by and area d a uh, into consideration and when we find out the things we got we get f equals to rho g sine theta y bar into a uh, which comes out to be rho g a h bar and where y bar is equal to h star on sine theta into f that is equal to rho g a h bar and h star equals to i g sine square theta upon a h bar plus h bar so we have to the formula which we will be using from now is this h bar is equal to i g sine square theta upon h bar plus h bar where a is the total area of the inclined surface h bar is depth of cg of the inclined area from the free surface h star is the uh, distance of central pressure from the free surface of liquid and theta is the angle made by the plane of the surface with free liquid surface so this is the case and we can solve the numerical on this thing also so let's solve the numerical So this is a problem where uh, there is a rectangular plane surface of 3 meter wide and 4 meter deep uh, lies in water in such a way that its plane makes an angle of 30 degree with the free surface of water uh, determine the total pressure force and position of center of pressure uh, when the upper edge is 2 meter below the free surface so, uh, so this is the question and uh, how to solve it? First of all, we have to calculate in our formula there is h bar, so we have to calculate the h bar and h bar is equal to a e plus e b that is a e is equal to 1.5 meter so this is a e 1.5 meter and we have to calculate 
the another thing that is eb and eb is 1.5 that is bc sin theta and the angle is subtended here is 30 degree so it will be equal to h bar is uh, is equal to h bar is equal to uh, bc uh, bc sin theta uh, plus 1.5 meter so 1.5 plus 1.5 sin 30 so this is our h bar particularly for this problem uh, so let's solve the problem take the formula and so this is all given theta is equals to 30 b equals to 2 meter d is equals to 3 meter distance from the upper edge from the free water surface is 1.5 meter like we have seen in the uh, figure by, uh, in the previous slide so first of all the uh, total pressure force is given by equation 3.6 which we have learned f equals to rho g h bar a so rho is 1000 kilo, kilogram per meter cube area is v into d um, v into d that is uh, 3 to 2 uh, 6 square meters uh, h bar is equal to depth of uh, cg from free water surface uh, that is uh, as we have discussed in previous slide that it is 1.5 plus 1.5 sin theta so it is um, sin 30 as we all know is 1 by 2 so 1.5 plus 1.5 into 1 by 2 is equals to 2.5 and uh, f is equal to 1000 into 1 9.81 1000 is rho into 9.81 into 6 into 2.25 that is equal to 13,024,35 newtons so it works out to this now let's calculate uh, the the next thing that is center of pressure h bar h h star using uh, the equation h star equals to ig sin square theta upon h to h bar plus h bar where i is equals to bd cube by 12 uh, so bd cube by 12 is a uh, 2 into 3 cube by 12 that is uh, ig moment of inertia along the g axis uh, that is equal to 4.5 meter uh, raised to the power 4 uh, m4 so that is h star is equal to 4.5 into sin square 30 into upon 6 into 2.25 plus 2.25 that is equal to uh, the calculations are there so that comes out to be 2.3333 meters over here. So this is the solution. There is another problem based on the same um, problem. This is pro this is also the same problem based on this. So up to this, we have discussed uh, cases about. Uh, Thing about the various things submerged in the water. Now we have, uh, we will discuss about uh, buoyancy in the next uh, lecture.